Hello, hello everybody, what's going on? Marcus here, and we're gonna talk about Facebook ads and why Facebook ads don't work, okay? Uh, this is a little bit um, sarcastic, this video, of why Facebook ads don't work. So I hear this from a lot of people, and I've made many videos on this, and I wanted to dedicate a video for this in the Academy, because I feel this is a super important topic. So a lot of people, probably including you at some point, have said, you know what, Facebook ads just don't work. I don't understand, they don't work. And you're right. There's two types of ads on Facebook. Ads that work and ads that don't work, okay? So not all ads don't work and not all ads work. So let's talk about the basics of what makes an ad work on Facebook. Okay, so first of all, Facebook knows everything about everybody. Their age, um, they might know their income, they might know what kind of car they drive, they might know if they like beer, they might, like where they, they might know where they live, they might see their travel behaviors, they might see their, their likes, their actions. Um, Facebook knows a lot about us, and that's why Zuckerberg is a billionaire, because he's figured out how to crack that code, and advertisers love him because of all the data and information he has. We, we are in a world where data rules. The more, more information you have about your guest, your potential guest, your client, uh, the more you're gonna win at that game of marketing. Data rules, data wins. Getting people's attention uh, is the second part of that component. So now here we go. There's three different types of guests. There's a, a, a sidewalk, slow lane, fast lane. Three different lanes, one, two, three. Somebody is on the sidewalk, this has no idea who you are. Somebody in the slow lane kind of knows who you are, may have been to your restaurant a year ago, six months ago, may have heard about you numerous times, maybe never pulled the trigger, um, maybe has pulled the trigger, just not enough. And then you have the fast lane. That customer you just need to open the door for and they're walking in because they know you, they like you, they respect you, they love you, they're a regular. So, how can you, when, when you get a new client, when you get a new client, a new guest, the idea is for them to switch lanes, for you to switch lanes with them, and that's key to this. So here's the first component of any ad that you ever place anywhere, whether it's radio ad, whether it's TV, whether it's newspaper, magazine, um, Facebook, uh, Google, pay-per-clicks or something. Um, your idea is to get them to switch lanes get them into the restaurant, into your business, get them into a database, and then move them along into lanes. Slow lane, uh, sidewalk, slow lane, fast lane. And keep them in the fast lane and keep them coming back and back and back. So if you're placing any ads anywhere and you don't get them into your database, you've lost. I don't care if they've come in and spent 100, 100 to one on their first visit. If they don't come back, you've lost, okay? Now, if you're in a tourist area and the, the, the boat docks and they walk up to your restaurant and they're going back to the dock tomorrow and they're not coming back, that's a different story. But if you're playing the return game, which is six times easier to get a guest in for the second time than the first time, you need to get them into the database, work them, get them comfortable with you, make them love you, and get them back in over and over and over again. That's where the money is and the repetition of their business. So. That is, that, that's the name of the game here. So don't do any ad unless you have some kind of formula to actually do that, okay? Now, what makes a Facebook ad not work, okay? First of all, not a good picture. You need a good picture on your Facebook ad. It's super important. Not too much writing, because Facebook doesn't like writing. Over 20% of the photo, if it has letters, um, they kind of, th they will throttle it down. So don't have too much text or any text at all. Have a clean photo, an emotional photo, good food, good food, food sells. Folks, people go to your restaurant website uh, for the first, the very first thing is to see the food. So if they're placing an ad, use that same philosophy of them going to your website. Make them see what they want. Make them see the food, okay? Super important. Now, you need a great call to action, a CTA, call to action, which means what are you giving away? What are you telling them to do? What specific are you telling the potential guests to do? Click the link below to claim your birthday voucher. Click the link below to receive a free gift. Click the link, send, hit the send button, send message, make a comment and you'll enter to win a contest. Share this if you agree and you could winter this contest, you could, there's something where along the lines where you wanna grab their information, okay? Or see that they're engaging. You want, you want to make them engage in your post. Just don't put up a post and saying, hey, look at our beautiful prime rib. We're located at, you know, 135 Main Street, blank, blank, blank. No, 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 that's not it. Who's hungry for prime rib? If you like prime rib, make a comment, yes. By the way, we're located at 135 Main Street. 
and we serve the best prime rib dinner in town, guaranteed, or it's free. Boom. They don't have to lose anything. What's the reward? The best prime dinner in town. You've made them comment if they want to feel like that. So once they comment, then you boom. Hey, since you commented, I got a free gift for you. you hit them to a website, link, sign up form into your database. Then you start massaging them and working them into your regular database. So you've grabbed them. But just placing a post and placing an ad saying, hey, look at our prime rib. That's not doing anything, folks. You need a specific call to action. You need a call to action to make them, you have to give them directions basically. When you put an ad up, put a post up, it has to have directions. Now, once you start mixing in psychology-based marketing, then you start winning. I talk about the five key components to psychology-based marketing for your website, okay? There's five things you certainly need, like the authority bias. You know, have the best prime rib cooked in town by celebrity chef or well-known chef or by um, the restaurant that's been in business since 1975, 40 years of experience, that's why we're the best. 40 years of experience gives you the, gives you the authority bias, right? Um, the number one loved or the most served prime rib in the village, in the town for the last 50 years, okay? That means that other people like it and other people are eating it. That's the social influence. People do what other people are doing. It just happens. It, it, it tricks the brain. The authority bias we talked about. What's the reward? What's in, the, what's in it for the guest? Um, the best prime rib in town. That's what it is. That's what's in it. If you like prime rib, we've got the best for you. That's the reward bias. So there's five biases that we talk about. And they're in the academy here. They're in the videos. They work on websites. You can work them in your ad as well. Make sure you cover as many of those biases that you possibly can. Um, one of the biases is the likability bias. Um, so... Uh, I recommend that you have on your website a picture of the owner looking at looking at your guests. Um, it's hard to do that on an ad if you're placing an ad with food, right? Because then you can't have two pictures or you can't have two pictures, but you really don't want a picture of you because you're showing off the food. So the likability one uh, bias is hard to work into that. Um, but you know, the, uh, the, the mere influence, the social influence bias, the authority bias, that's all easy to do. You know, put up Put up a, 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 in my ads, I put, you know, the number one rated restaurant on TripAdvisor, over 500 five-star reviews online. That means over, that means over 500 people have had such an amazing time, they've actually gone and told other people about it. That kind of stuff is a massive when it comes to people saying, wow, if other people have done it, I want to do it. Or if that's the best prime rib since 1975 and the most served prime rib, or I want to do what other people are doing. So now you have a call to action after you've uh, established these biases. Click the link below to win, click the link below to get more information. Click the link below and we'll send you a free gift. Now, never promise anybody money. As soon as you start writing the word money in an ad on your, on your, on your Facebook statuses, Facebook does not like that. They don't like the word money. Um, they think it's a scam. So uh, the only people really allowed to make money on Facebook is Zuckerberg, right? <laughs> no, just a joke, but you know, um, there's a lot of money being made on Facebook and there's a lot of money to be lost on Facebook. This is a gambling thing and you can tweak it because you can become a better, you can be a better card player, right? And you can try to become a better ad maker, a better ad writer, a, bad co a better copy writer. And there's certain things that are people looking for and I've just covered the majority of them. So have a strong call to action, get them to a platform, get them information in, have them switch lanes, get them into your database, keep working them outside of Facebook, get their phone number, get their birthday. You can send text messages, text message marketing, get their birthday. You can send them a birthday card, snail mail, huge, get all their addresses, um, get their, get their spouse's name, get their, get their anniversary date, get their likes, whatever they like. Do they like wine? Do they like beer? Do they like hiking? Do they like the theater, which is right next door to us? Do they like shopping? Whatever is around you that might be bringing people into town, into your village, into your area, um, get them in and tag them. So now when the trail season opens and people are out there hiking, hey, come join us for a group hike or after your hike, why don't you join us for an ice cold beer, or fresh, uh, fresh pizza or whatever. So now you know who you can identify who those people exactly are. Just like Facebook has ident identified them, you want to identify them. Something else really super cool about Facebook ads that I don't know many people that do this. I even know some ad agencies, people that actually get paid to help people with Facebook marketing don't even do this. Uh, first of all, the pixel. A lot of people don't do the pixel. Even when you pay somebody, they're not doing the pixel. So another thing is you can actually create audiences, custom audiences. 
I want to say that most people think Facebook ads are making a post, then hitting the boost button and throwing 10, 20 bucks on it and seeing what happens. That's not real Facebook ads, folks. That's not real Facebook marketing. That's just a, that's Facebook awareness. Um, but you can actually create an audience where you take your thousand to 10,000 to 30, 40,000 guests that you have in an email database and upload those emails to Facebook. Facebook then matches those up with their profiles and you can advertise to them specifically to them. Yeah, like talk about direct targeting people that already know about you. These are most likely Fastlane customers. If they've given you their address, their email address, they like you, they trust you, they're in that Fastlane or they're switching from the slow lane to Fastlane and boom, right in there, market to them. Now, here's where the magic happens. Ready for this? Here's where the magic. You can create a lookalike audience where Facebook gathers those 10,000, 1,000 people. How many other people are in your list? They gather them and then start creating an audience that looks like those people. Same age, demographics, um, zip codes, income, uh, likes, behaviors. Uh, are they married? Are they single? What's their age? All kinds of things. They'll match people up to people that look like those people called a lookalike audience. And you can have more of an exact one or more of a broad one. And it, it is amazing this capability that Facebook provides. Also something to look at is called the um, frequency of your ad. How often is your ad actually running? And so for example, if you're running an ad uh, for six months, you've kind of probably played that ad out. Um, but unless you have a, uh, your, your advertising to 200,000 people and it's only hitting 500 people a day, 300 people a day, then you have some, you know, some, so it's going to keep rotating enough. But if you're in a pool of like 10,000 people, 15,000 people uh, in smaller areas and you're on and you're hitting three to 500 people a day, there's no reason to run that same ad. There's no reason to run that same ad for six months. There, there really isn't. Um, you need to keep it fresh, keep it going, keep new things, keep, keep new things surfacing. And uh, that's a mistake I see people, people just keep running a continuous ad. Unless that ad is proven and keeps bringing people in, like if you're doing a birthday ad and it's grabbing somebody every seven days, new people, new people, then that's something you just keep running with and going and going and going. But make sure you have a great call to action. Go, they go into your database and all that kind of stuff that I've explained. Um, here and other videos. So uh, yeah, like I said, Facebook's awesome. So this is super important. I, 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 when you say Facebook ads are not working or don't work, it's that typically you've written the ad wrong. You've written the ad wrong or you're targeting the wrong audience. I haven't spoken about audience yet. Now, the number one way to target people on Facebook is called retargeting. People that have been to your website that kind of know about you, those are slow lane to, to sidewalk guests to have them move because they're already kind of familiar with you, right? They're, they're either in a lane change already or they're already in that lane. They're already in that, 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 that slow lane, moving to the fast lane. If they've been on your website, they want more information. Well, now when they go on Facebook, hit them again, hit them again, remind them, remind them, remind them, remind them. And the way you do that is you take your Facebook pixel. So you go into business manager in Facebook, you open a business manager account, separate platform, grab, set up an ad, ad in there, uh, your, your ad, your, your, just set up an account ready to do ads. Go in there and grab the pixel, pop that HTML code in your website, in your header, and every time somebody goes to your website, Facebook is tracking them. And if it's a slow lane, if it's somebody for the first time Googling you, they are a sidewalk, they are a sidewalk guest, right? So they're a sidewalk guest, they've never heard about you before. Now's the time to actually move lanes. And the way you move lanes with them is you basically reinforce and remind them once they get to the Facebook platform that, hey, you were on their website. So if you go to Zappos, go to Zappos right now, this is a great exercise. Go to Zappos, look up some shoes, don't buy anything, turn off that browser, go into a new browser, open up Facebook. You don't even need to go into a new browser, I'm just saying, you know, open a new browser, go into Facebook, and you know, and start scrolling. And bam, that Zappos ad pops up. They're reminding you that you liked those Lucchese boots or those socks or whatever was on there. They're sort of reminding you that, hey, you were on this page, you were looking for our stuff, here it is again. Now, if you can do that with your restaurant, that's how you switch people, that's how you switch lanes. Name of the game is switch lanes, get them into a database. Whatever type of ad you do, whether it's Facebook, radio, remember what I said, any type of ad you do, make them switch lanes, get them into a database, and that's how you do that, okay? You never win on the first transaction. Never judge the success of an ad 
of, of, of the visit on their first transaction. You never want to keep fishing a new pond. Never fish new ponds. Fish the pond that's stocked. And you're going to take your own pond that has nothing in it and all of a sudden start stacking all your database people in there. Every day, you're going to start moving people into that pond, just like stocking a pond with trout or with bass. Your trout and your bass are databases, emails, people's names. Just put them in that pond, put them in that pond, put them in that pond. Then you're gonna cast that line out and say, hey, got a beer dinner coming up, boom. It's lobster night, boom. It's taco night, boom. You're just gonna cast that bait out. Tonight's bait is taco night, okay? Tonight's bait is two for one bottles of wine or half price bottles of wine, wine Wednesday, bam. Whiskey Wednesday, that's the bait. And you're gonna get the bass, the, the, the people in your database that are interested in that, start biting on that for you, okay? That's how you successfully run an ad campaign, is based on the second, third, fourth, fifth, 10th, 20th, 30th transaction. That's when you start raking in, folks. That's when your ads truly become a success. So do not place an ad anywhere without grabbing them into a database and without a specific call to action to make them respond to something, engage them, and then get them onto something else. That's the plain and simple about, about this, okay? So super important, super important. Facebook ads work tremendously well. Other ads work tremendously well. What do you do with the people once you get their attention? And how do you get their attention? How quick do you get their attention? Can you keep their attention? Is it, is their attention, is it even something that, that's gonna get people's attention to begin with, okay? So food gets people's attention, okay? I told you that's being with food, 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 food. So that is the basics of, of advertising on Facebook or advertising anywhere, okay? So Facebook ads totally 100% work and they 100% don't work. Don't let your ads be the one that don't work. Okay, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, you can get on uh, any of the phone calls or drop me, drop me an email and we'll be happy to, uh, to, uh, to discuss this in depth. And there's more videos on here about this kind of stuff, but I feel this is a good preliminary, preliminary video for you to watch before you really get sucked into ads and spending ads, money on ads, all right? So uh, before you spend any money on ads, watch this video and watch it again and watch it again. All right, thanks everybody for watching.